Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning. If you're watching us live on Facebook, thank you for that. And if you are checking us out elsewhere, we are online, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We upload these shows, audio and video versions there for you to check out whenever you feel like it. Uh, this morning, before we get into your traffic and your weather, uh, we are delivering a, a, a uh, it's a tough headline uh, to deliver. Uh, Remy Hidalgo, we talked about in the last two days. Now here on the third, we have to report his death. Uh, Remy suffered a heat stroke Tuesday at football practice. He was taken to a local emergency room where he was stabilized and then moved to uh, Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, he was moved to Children's Hospital in New Orleans uh, where they put him on what's called an ECMO machine, and it was supposed to give his body a rest and recirculate his blood, uh, try to kind of you know reboot the body. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Friday morning, his mother, Ashley, received the news uh, that he had passed away in the night. Um, I, I know it's very difficult right now for the Dem Springs community a uh, candlelight vigil was held Wednesday night uh, that was very popular. Uh, lots of uh, people from Denham Springs, Walker, Live Oak, Central, Zachary all came out to honor the young man who was just uh, very much a, a, a great kid, uh, very respected, uh, described as kind of a big teddy bear. So uh, please keep that family in your thoughts. Please keep the Denham Springs community in your thoughts. And uh, please, uh, you know, pray for Remy Hidalgo, uh, who again passed away uh, this morning, early morning hours of Friday, September 18th. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have a pretty somber mood for the rest of the show. I'm going to try to move through it as quickly as possible. Uh, I-12 is flowing this morning for your traffic uh, with some minor on-ramp delays. Uh, 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190 uh, also flowing. Minor delays on 64 heading into Central, uh, and Greenville Springs is flowing as well. Of course, you will have to deal with some school traffic. It's currently 73 degrees, 84 degrees is your high, 69 degrees your overnight low, uh, a 20% chance of rain today. Uh, I, I see a lot of people have joined us just letting you know uh, again that Remy Hidalgo has passed. Please keep that family in your thoughts. Uh, if you're looking for some information on that, I, I kind of open the show with it. So you can, once I end it, you can go back and watch it uh, later uh, if you'd like or pause the show and go back. Uh, but please keep that family uh, in your thoughts and prayers as well as the students of Denham Springs High School and the Denham Springs community. Looking at the tropics, uh, Teddy, Hurricane Teddy, which is currently in the Atlantic, uh, well off the coast of Florida, is expected to turn north. Uh, however, uh, Tropical Storm 22 is in the southern Gulf and is expected uh, to hit Texas at this time. But there is a lot of uh, activity that may change that, so we're going to be keeping an eye on that. Uh, the next podcast is up for Town of Livingston Alderman. This one is Zach Thomason. Uh, you can find it at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We have three more aldermen coming in next week. Uh, after Hurricane Sally passing through the area and giving us some storm surge, waterways will reopen today. Uh, so if you're a water person, you can get back out on the rivers. <laughs> Getting into your COVID-19 statistics real quick, 159,304 cases, 5,143 deaths, 2,123,151 tests, 145,570 have recovered, uh, 663 are hospitalized on 106 ventilators. In Livingston Parish, 3,666 cases, 73 deaths on 37,728 tests. Circle K has donated a $1,000 grant to the Livingston Activity Center. Of course, the Activity Center is uh, for uh, the mentally challenged, trying to you know get them used to everyday life, get them jobs and things of that nature. Uh, COVID-19 has made funding difficult, so that $1,000 goes a long way. It was donated last week. Schools are adding some extra cleanliness measures and testing. They're looking at the molecular level uh, for things that could be in the classroom, of course, doing regular cleaning of those schools anyway. Uh, trying to look and see if maybe they missed something or couldn't get something at the molecular level that's called an ADP test. Uh, so a very interesting uh, development there. 
Uh, of course, they're trying to keep those schools clean as, again, uh, returning to five-day-a-week instruction starting uh, Monday, actually. All students will be back to five-day-a-week instruction or virtual ex uh, instruction at home. Talking about your mitigation efforts real quick, wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more. Six feet or more of distance between yourself and others in public. Wear a mask in public. It is a mandate. Control your cough and sneezing with an elbow or a tissue. Don't touch your face, my favorite one. Uh, 25 or less to a gathering, or excuse me, 50 or less to a gathering, preferably less, and stay home if you're sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor. I do apologize for the somber mood this morning on the show. I uh, want to end it with where we began. Uh, Remy Hidalgo, a Dim Springs football player and resident, uh, passed away of a heat stroke oh. Friday morning uh, or in the early morning hours. He uh, had, the, had the heat stroke at practice Tuesday afternoon, was transported to a local emergency room uh, where he was stabilized and then moved to Children's Hospital in New Orleans. Uh, from there, he was placed on an ECMO machine, uh, which gave his kind of worked his body for him. Uh, gave his organs a rest, was trying to recirculate that blood, kind of restart the body. Uh, unfortunately, his mother, Ashley, uh, received a call Friday morning, uh, that early morning, that he had passed away. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, there was a candlelight visual Wednesday night. We talked about it yesterday morning. Uh, Remy was a very respected member of the community. The vigil drew uh, parents kids uh, and, and athletes from Zachary Central, Denham Springs, Walker, Watson, very respected kid, you know, described as uh, no one had anything negative to say about him, described as a, a big teddy bear and just a very well-liked kid. So please keep the Denham Springs community in your prayers. Uh, keep football team in your prayers and please keep his, his family uh, and his friends in your prayers as well. Want to remind folks, uh, the traffic is currently flowing this morning, I-12, uh, <clears throat> going into Baton Rouge, flowing uh, with some minor on-ramp delays. 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190 are flowing. Minor delays on 64 heading into Central uh, with Greenville Springs flowing as well. Some heavier school traffic as kids continue to return to school. It's currently 73 degrees, 84 degrees your high today, so we're going to stay in the 80s today. 69 degrees your overnight low a 20% chance of rain. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. I uh, want to remind folks that we are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We are once a week in print on Thursdays at $7 a month to get it in your mailbox. We are also online, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We have a podcast page, which is free, a coronavirus page, which is free, and a breaking news page, which is free as well. Please, again, keep the Dem Springs community in your thoughts and prayers. Please keep the family of Remy Hidalgo, Remy Hidalgo in your thoughts and prayers uh, as we move into the weekend on a very somber note. We do hope you stay safe over the weekend uh, as we uh, are moving more towards those fall temperatures, and we will see you Monday morning.